I recently went to see Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Man, that film was bad. Not to say that I didn't have fun while watching it, but that was typically at the film's expense. The film suffered from a long runtime, some dodgy performances, and questionable character decisions. There were too many human characters, and they were all so underdeveloped, so that when something bad happened to one of them, I just didn't care, apart from maybe one scene. Most characters could have done with more screen time, so you actually got to care about them. And you would have thought that they would have had enough time on screen, considering that humans seem to take up most of the film. But they're all so surface level. And not only that, Charles Dance was horrendously underutilised. And I think they even forgot he was in the film by the end of it. What the film did have going for it, though, were the monster fights. While there weren't nearly enough of these, they all looked amazing and were incredibly exciting. The fact that I cared more about the monsters than the people says a lot. The few times I had an actual emotional response to the characters was usually when anything to do with Mothra happened. A ratio of about two minutes of monsters to one minute of human drama would have worked pretty damn well in my opinion. Cut the film to 90 minutes and you can give me 30 minutes of people talking to each other so I have a bit of context and an hour of monsters punching each other. Perfect. Now. On its own, this film isn't really worth that much comment. As I say, it's a pretty bad film with some great monster fights, but there seems to be this weird reaction to a certain aspect of this film. The script. The script for this film is just awful. The entire film is really poorly written, and a lot of my criticisms, such as the poor character decisions and the lack of character development, all have to do with the poor writing. This isn't just a personal thing either. Everyone seems to think this film is poorly written. So you'd think people have an issue with it, right? Right? Okay, well, it's absolutely fine to like a film despite its flaws. However, it's another thing to say those flaws don't matter. There are so many comments out there from people saying, who cares if it has bad writing? I just want to see monster fights. Or even worse, it's a film about a giant lizard firing a laser out of its mouth. Why would you even expect good writing? I'm sorry, but I can't agree to this sort of defense. Why would you not want good writing? Even if it's alongside monster fights, you'd still want there to be some good writing. Surely then, you wouldn't just be sat there waiting for the next fight to come along, but instead be engrossed in the story as well. That would be a far better movie. Imagine if instead of all of those long, boring scenes of people talking about stuff no one really cares about, or those scenes where they make terrible, terrible decisions. Seriously, who leaves monster controlling technology in a room completely unlocked and unguarded? Those scenes were instead really well written. We learn more about our characters, getting to know them and their interactions with each other better. We cut out some characters so we can focus on fewer and get to know them more. We care when they struggle, when they have to make difficult decisions, when they fall out with each other, when they are in peril, when they die. The tension is enhanced because we care about our human characters. We relate to them and we want them to succeed. These are the characters we should identify with so they can take us through this unfamiliar situation. You can have interesting, emotional and well-written human drama alongside your monster fights. They aren't mutually exclusive. One thing doesn't have to be bad just for the other to be good. It can all be good. Instead, we just get bland crap with surface level character development. If the humans were cut out entirely, you wouldn't miss out on much. 
It's therefore such a shame they are what we follow for most of the film. The only exception I might have to the defence of the poor writing in this film is if the writing was consistently hilariously bad. The Room is a perfect example of this. It's really funny, and this is mostly due to how inept it is, especially in the writing department. Bad writing can lead to a lot of enjoyment, and I personally love watching bad films just to laugh at them. And whilst I did laugh at some of the more serious moments in Godzilla, I didn't laugh enough. It wasn't so ridiculously bad that it became funny. For the most part, it was just boring. The writing was consistently poor, just not hilariously so. I really struggle to see why people are overlooking the bad writing in this film. I remind you, this hasn't become a conversation of some people thinking the film is well written and some people thinking it's poorly written. Everyone agrees, the writing is bad. But a lot of people out there are suggesting that this just doesn't matter, that they're just here for the monsters. I could almost accept this if the monsters were in the film more, but, and I may need to go back and check this, but I think the monster fights didn't even take up half the film. That means over half the film is just us following the human drama and being subjected to the poor script. If you are in it for the monster fights, then surely, surely, you should be annoyed that the film doesn't have enough monster fights. I am. Give me more of Godzilla fighting monsters who are maybe between him and King Ghidorah. How will that mammoth one hold up against him? The film needed more Mothra as well. Just let her have another fight. That would have been great. Knowing that the director, Michael Doherty, made Krampus, a film I absolutely love, I really feel he should have embraced the utter ridiculousness and delivered something that never took itself too seriously. Seriously. One of my favourite parts of the film was the ending credits. Not because it meant that the film was over, but because the credits had a hilariously enjoyable tone, which embraced how silly some of this came across. On top of this, the film also had a scene where Godzilla was walking towards Boston and there were a bunch of boats and planes flying alongside him as if they were some sort of escort. And it looked amazing. I was kind of laughing along with it. It was just so ridiculous, but it was great. This was the sort of thing that I craved throughout the rest of the film. And if the film had been that throughout, then I would have probably loved it. The conversation surrounding Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is really strange. I don't see why people don't even want the writing to be better. You can make something corny or silly and still be well written. It doesn't have to be bad writing. The writing itself is indefensible. And as I say, no one seems to be defending it. But people are just ignoring it instead. And whilst enjoying a film for its spectacle over its writing is also fine, thinking that the bad writing in that film isn't a problem, well, that's a bit of a problem. As a whole, we as audience members need to hold all forms of media to a higher standard. When something is bad, we need to call it out as bad. Similarly, when something is good, we need to highlight how it's good. Making excuses for bad films and the elements that make them bad won't help. If we don't call out the faults in media, then it will never improve. By offering our criticism, artists of all varieties can improve their craft and deliver us something even better next time, provided that the feedback is fair and that the artists take that feedback on board. If we, as the audience, ignore the bad, then artists have no incentive to give us something good or even great, just something that appeals at the basest level. We should expect good writing in our films, even if those films are just about monsters fighting one another. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. This is the first time I've done something like this, so I really appreciate you watching it. I'm not sure why this was the thing that really got me to make a video on YouTube, but it just kind of got to me a little bit and I just felt like I needed to say something about it. This, seeing as this is my first time doing something like this, I would really appreciate if people could comment below with what they thought of my video, how they thought I could do better, what they liked about it, and hopefully if I do continue to make videos like this in the future, I can make them better and uh, try and sort out some of my thoughts on this one. So I really appreciate your time on this and hopefully I'll be seeing you all again soon. Long live the king.
This is the voice of the Mr. Arms. We know. 